What's up, our nation? Hunter Tom here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I've decided to do a little update video on my squirrel hunting kit. Now, I did a squirrel hunting kit video about two or three years ago now, and I think it's time to do a an update, really. So, in my previous video, I said that I had uh, a Ruger Explorer, which is pretty much a gun that's not really suited for squirrel hunting, and I've pretty much I've upgraded since then. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you my new equipment. All right, so you might be wondering, what is the best thing to use for squirrel hunting? And that's simply this thing right here. Now, the greatest piece of equipment for squirrel hunting is pretty much this thing right here, a cat. It's the most fantastic tool you can ever use for squirrel hunting. Cats are absolutely the best hunting tool for squirrel hunting. Yeah, that was a complete joke, guys. Um, I like to use this thing right here, which is called the Benjamin Maximus. It's a .22 air rifle. It's PCP, about 20 shots per fill, and I think it works great. I pretty much just fill this up with my pump, and uh, yeah. I think it works great. It's currently the gun that I'm using. I'm using a, I think it's a six by 24, six to 24 by 50 scope, and um, I think it's, yeah, it's a mil dot reticle. It's Barska, it's like a hundred dollar scope. For me, <clears throat> personally, I only ever use it on six power, I guess, because it pretty much, it offers me enough, like, I, I don't need any more power, especially when I'm hunting around in the woods. I, I don't really need more power than six anyways. It usually generally, generally gets me, like, I get close enough distance to use six. I'm not gonna be shooting squirrels super far, so. It works really well. Also, Maximus, I use a cheap Exagis, uh, Exagis bipod. It's like a Chinese bipod off of Amazon. And it works quite well, actually. And yeah, I this is pretty much the setup I use right here. I've got a GoPro adapter um, that I use to pretty much film my hunts. And this thing works fantastic for hunting squirrels. I mean, if I ever just see one, you know, it's it's a ready-to-go gun. I fill it up and I can go up the woods. It works pretty much awesomely and it's great at 25 yards, 30 yards, which is pretty much usually the engagement distance that I use for hunting squirrels. I've got nothing against using brake barrels, but it's pretty much, I just prefer using PCPs. And with that said, I use, with my PCP, I like to use the Benj uh, Crossman Premier pointed 14.3 grain, 22 pellets. I find they work quite well for hunting squirrel. And you know, it's pretty much these two things go together really well when it comes to hunting game. And with that, I, I sometimes use my homemade squirrel call, which pretty much uses a dog toy squeaker and a empty water bottle. You pretty much almost use this as like just the squeaker itself and just like this. It's great for calling squirrels, uh, very similar like sound to red squirrel. So I think it works quite well for hunting squirrel. I mean, it's like, it's what they use to train dogs to go after squirrels. So I mean, it kind of makes sense to use this, right? Anywho. I use this scroll call as well as as well as this scroll call right here, which is pretty much a scroll call that I bought from the store. It sounds more like a gray scroll, but uh, it works quite well too. I don't find it's as loud as the dog squeakers homemade sound thing. I actually have a video right here if you want to watch that how I made this thing. But yeah, it's not as loud in frequency as this one right here, but uh, it still gets the job done. Um, and yeah, this is pretty much my loadout, I guess, that I use. Um, I can show you what clothing, I guess, I wear um, too. So yeah, I'll show you that. All right, so generally in the winter, I'll usually use this type of camo right here. It's just a nice snow, snowy camo. Um, it works quite well for hiding in the woods. I've also got, hold up, got these. Um, gloves here, I've got like a whole suit, I think this is like mossy, mossy oak, like snow camo, and I pretty much use this for, um, this, I got like a huge snow suit, which looks kind of like this, uh, and I wear this kind of go, it's warm, you know, it's kind of a two-piece uh, snow suit, and it goes well with the gloves, and yeah, that pretty much conceals me in any, like, foresty, snowy area that I'm actually hunting squirrel, so that works quite well, as with, even if, I, if it's warm outside, I'll, I'll usually generally just put on this sweater above uh, my, like, coat or something, uh, just because it's, you know, it's, if it's not too warm, if it's warm outside and there's snow on the ground, I'll just put that on. Also, when I hunt during kind of like the fall area, you know, when it's kind of fall and not snowy, basically when there's no snow on the ground, I'll be wearing stuff like this. This is just a camo hat. It's a nice woodland camo, nothing fancy. Uh, it just kind of, you know, for squirrel, I, I almost believe that you almost don't need camo. Um, I think it's more of a, just to get in the hunting vibe, but it's not really necessary for squirrel hunting. But I mean, it depends if you're, what you're, like how you're hunting. Some people like to hunt uh, by spooking the squirrels and getting them, like, getting them to squeak by using, like, again, squirrel calls, etc. 
and they'll basically just spook the squirrel until it starts to make it starts barking or something and then they'll just shoot it. Now that works good, but you know, some people are more like, all right, I'm gonna put a blind down and I'm going to uh, wait there and I'm gonna put some corn out and I'm gonna wait until the squirrel shows up. That's one way of hunting, but I'm more of the guy of walking, more of the type of hunter to just walk around and and you know, try to, to see find squirrels. That's that's more my style of hunting. Some people are more blind hunting, but for blind hunting, I actually um, have a blind for that. Now again, this right here is a blind. Uh, it's a chair blind. You just put it down, lay down inside some foliage or some grass, and then you're pretty much set and ready to go. Uh, you just sit down, you wait, put some corn out, and you know, generally, if you know there's squirrels in the area, especially like around a farm or something, uh, this could work quite well. And if you have a feeder out, this is one way of hunting squirrels. There's many ways, but you know, I've got a blind in case I want to, you know, maybe try and shoot a squirrel unblinded. I've got one. So, to fill up my Maximus, I like to use this thing right here, the Benjamin uh, hand pump. It works quite well. It fills up to like 3,500 PSI, but the Maximus only takes 2,000 PSI, so it works quite well when I use it. And yeah, I use pretty much this guy right here to, to fill up my, my gun, and then I, I go hunting, and it works quite well. When it comes to sidearms, there's two guns, I guess, I, you could pretty much consider good enough for hunt squirrels. Now, maybe not a CO2 pistol, but this guy right here, the Crossman 1377, could be a pretty decent uh, sidearm, I guess you could say, for hunting really small squirrels. I wouldn't go after big squirrels with this thing. It's it's a multi pump pistol, and you know, it's limited to like 625 feet per second, 500 feet per second, with a .177 pellet, so it's not super powerful, but I have been able to take down squirrels with this thing. Um, if you just pretty much line up a proper like shot placement, so headshot on a small squirrel, you can get pretty lucky with this thing. I've been quite lucky with this thing. So, this is pretty much the only pistol I would consider maybe hunting, uh, well, that's not PCP, that is, uh, that I'd consider actually hunting with. Uh, especially squirrel, and I wouldn't go for any big squirrel. I'd go for something that I know that's like minimum 10 yard or maximum 10 to 15 yards away with proper shot placement. I think this guy right here will do the job. Now, what I have tested before um, is the CO2 pistol right here. It's the Crossman Vigilante, and this is a CO2 powered pistol. You put the CO2 in the grip, and yeah, this one, this one works quite well. Um, it's got a laser on it. Am I out of battery? Not a battery. Anyways, this one works like I tested it against a squirrel. I didn't shoot, it was a dead squirrel. I was testing the penetration power or the power of this gun. Now, it probably wouldn't be strong enough to take down a squirrel. It depends with your ethics. But again, I think this gun's more of like a five, 10 yard gun on a warm day because cold day with CO2 doesn't work well. But testing this against just a squirrel, it did penetrate the skin and it did like, I think almost, I don't think it went through it, but you know, it went pretty deep. So it's probably strong enough to, to, to kill it, a squirrel, but not something I would recommend, especially for beginners to use. Um, but it's it's something, you know? Anyways, yeah, so those are the sidearms I use. Well, not, I don't really use sidearms. I usually just use one gun and that's a Maximus. If I shoot a squirrel, falls down and said a bad shot placement, I'll just go up to it and finish it off with the Maximus. I'm not gonna actually like pull out this and do the CO2 and just pop. No, I'm just gonna use <clears throat> the Maximus because, well, it's stronger and I know it's gonna put down the animal. Cause like the whole purpose of like hunting is to put your game down as fast as possible. You don't want it to suffer. So you su right, it's always better to use something that's got more power than something that's got less power. But yeah, for brake barrels, I've got two brake barrels that I've used and that can sort of work. So I'll show you those. All right, all right. So what about what about brake barrels, Hunter Tom? Which which one which one do you use when it comes down to um, to, to squirrel hunting? What about brake barrels? You know, like what about them? Which one do you use? Well, these two guys right here, I have used, and well, let me tell you, they're they're not as good as the Maximus, but they still work. Um, I definitely love the Phantom. Super cheap gun. It's accurate. It's fun, and well, it works. You know, that's that's pretty much what I like about it. Then, if we go a bit higher on the budget side. We got this guy right here, Benjamin Trail Nitro Piston 2. It's it's all right. Um, Ryan, has, my friend, has used this, and uh, you've probably seen him on the channel before on other hunts. And well, they're they work. I gotta say, he's got one in synthetic stock. I got a wooden stock one. Um, I wanted to sell this one, but um, I haven't been able to sell it yet. It's not my favorite 
brake barrel, but you know what, it works. It's heavy, expensive, and that's pretty much, well not expensive, it's like 300, 200 bucks, which is a lot compared to this guy, which is only 100 bucks. Um, the only reason why I don't really like it is because I find it pretty priced, it's accuracy, I'd rather just get a, a PCP, I, but that's just my preference. I'm just pretty much afraid that if I drop it in a river and break it, um, I'd be really sad, and because it's expensive. But if I accidentally dropped you didn't see that. If I accidentally dropped this guy right here in a river or a creek or something and I pulled it out, I wouldn't be so sad because, well, it's like a hundred bucks. And, well, you know, compared to like 300 with a nice wooden stock, this guy, you know, I can just, it's great. I can almost pretty much use this as a spear if I wanted to. Like, just like, I saw a spear, but, hey! And yeah. But anyways, Benjamin, F the Crossman Phantom, it's, it's a good one. It's a good gun for squirrel hunting. So this is pretty much the budget gun I would use. More expensive, probably wouldn't use. Most likely to use, definitely most likely to use. I love the Maximus, it's accurate. Fill it up with air, no one cares. You see a squirrel, you just pop, and it falls, it drops, it's dead. It, I've gotten so much fun and joy out of this guy. I absolutely love, I like, I, this was the gateway drug to PCPing. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much what I use for Squirrel hunting, it's also kind of what I use for pigeon hunting and well, dove hunting, it's, they all work, crow, I mean you might need different calls, but generally I just pump up my PCP to the good old magic number, which is 2,000 PSI, and yeah, it's, it, it just drops, the squirrels, they just, they just fall from the trees, I, I don't even have to aim or pull the trigger, I just walk in the woods and I see one and I'm like, hey look, a and it, it falls, okay, yeah, that's what I use for squirrel hunting, I put wood, wooden, wood camo, when it's woody, <laughs> when it's fall outside, <laughs> and I use, I use, uh, I use snow camo when it's, you guessed it, S snowy. Yeah. Oh wait, I gotta show you my bag. This is what I use for squirrel hunt. No, it's not it. I use this guy, which is like a, a cheap $20 Canadian tire uh, bag. And well, I don't carry anything in it, apart from snacks, hot water, because that's important. That's really important. Also, if ever I'm in a in a rough situation and I'm gonna go out camping or squirrel hunting for a while, I'll bring this guy right here, which is like a military surplus bag and it's got full of juicy stuff like a first aid kit. Super important when it's squirrel hunting, because you shoot yourself, you fall down, you get a blister or something, you got some to fix yourself up, right? This is important. Also, Glow in the dark sticks. They, you might not think you're gonna get lost in the woods, but you get lost. Well, you got a stick. You can't eat it, but you can crack it and it'll make light so you can see in the dark. All right, now what if you need to like make shelter? You got rope to tie wood together. You got another survival kit in here. This is pretty much a survival bag, guys. Um, to, get, to get to the point. It's got like matches and flint and stuff in there. And yeah, well that's useful. It's waterproof too, just like this bag. You got a flashlight. That's supposed to light up when it's dark. <laughs> oh boy. You got a, a package of cards to play when you're by yourself in the woods and it's dark. You got a watch that doesn't work, doesn't tell time. So you gotta look up at the sun to tell when it's time to get out of the woods. There we go. Look, look gonna be a long video if I gotta show you all this bag. But. All right, what else is in here? Well, main pocket, we got another huge first aid kit. Super important to have this, especially if it's cold or if you're hurt, you need one of those. You got, you know what? Another first aid kit in an Altoids can. It's got some gauze, some floss to keep your teeth flints, flossy clean. I hope I got that. You got another full-on survival kit with batteries in case your flashlight is, is 
well, not working. It, it'll work. It's got matches and more matches and it's got, you know, everything you need. It's a basic survival kit. You also got a little bit of duct tape in case you got a duct tape stuff. Most importantly, you got some toilet paper. Fire is important for cooking squirrel. Also, you got a flashlight that actually works. And it's got a red light. That's super cool, actually. Let me put that on. So you can like wear this while you're out in the bush, you know? Like you can see in the dark. See, if I get lost in the dark, I, I, I could see, you know? In case you know, your squirrel hunting situation gets really out of hand, you got, you got some red flashing lights. All right, yeah, so we got a flashlight. And uh, you know, even more important, you ever gotta do some scientific studies, you got a magnifying glass right here. <laughs> You also got a compass and another magnifying glass. It's like a little science kit. All right, what else do we got in here? More garbage bags to put your garbage away in? Or, obviously, if you get a whole bunch of squirrels, you can fill up a whole garbage bag up, right, you know? All right, what else do we got in here? Oh. All right, hold up. It's really deep. Here we go. All right, hold up. Yeah, I've also got a shotgun in here in case I gotta, you know, get the, the squirrel. And I run out of pulp. I got a shotgun, but no ammo. Cause you know, safety first, kids, right? You got a, you got a bag and a shotgun that fits inside, inside that. Okay, yeah, that, that's that's it. That's that's all I got for for squirrel hunting. So, hope you enjoyed the video. It's not. I don't really bring any of the stuff outside apart from my Maximus and my, my camo and my squirrel call sometimes and my pelt. But you know, I I got it in case I'm going on a big squirrel hunt. You might have to bring a whole kit. You never know, you gotta, I definitely would recommend, you know, here, let me just list all the stuff that I'd recommend to bring. So, one, a first aid kit in case you get hurt. Two, snack. Three, water. Four, a gun. Five, pellets or ammo for that gun. Six, more water. Seven, camo. Helps you conceal. Number eight, if you like hunting and a blind, bring a blind. And that's pretty much all you should bring for squirrel hunting. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just want to change stuff up. I know you guys might be getting tired of shot show video, so shot show coverage. I decided to make make a make a, a regular home home video. Yeah. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, you know what to do. I'll see you guys next. Time. Take care.